Welcome back to my channel, or if you are new, welcome to my channel, I'm so glad you're here. Today, I am doing a review. Snack Crate! <laughs> woo -woo! Snack Crate is a monthly subscription to a company that will send you custom boxes of snack from different countries. This is actually mine and Garrett's third box. Our first one was from the UK and that was our uh, trial box, I guess. I mean, we only paid like a dollar for it, I'm pretty sure. And then our second box was from the Philippines. It was not my favorite. It was kind of nasty. I'm sorry. All my Filipinos out there, I'm sorry. It was not my favorite. And this one that we have is from the Caribbean. Oh, also, I guess I should let you know that in my first video, if you've watched my first video, if you haven't, go check it out. It's on my channel. Um, I mentioned that Garrett probably will not be in many of my videos, if any. I was just lucky to get him in my first video, but these snack crates we opened together. So we've already opened it and basically reviewed it together um, last night. I'm just going to let y'all in on what I thought about the snacks. So let's get right into it. So first, I guess I should give you guys this, they give you like a little, I guess, pamphlet. And it gives you all kinds of information about the Caribbean and what kind of snacks are gonna be in the box. A couple fun facts are like, the Caribbean is the birthplace of James Bond. Huh, I did not know that. That's pretty cool. My mom is like a huge fan of James Bond. I might have to do a review on those movies with her and see what she'll say because she oh my gosh she loves James Bond. Uh, Dominica is home to the second largest boiling lake in the world with temperatures ranging from 180 to 197 degrees Fahrenheit. We don't recommend stopping by for a swim. <laughs> That's pretty cool okay so let's get right into it. All right so this snack that I'm about to show right now was my absolute favorite and it's called chicken chips um, so this is a crunchy a crunchy stick and drench a drumstick shaped corn snack flavored with tasty ketchup seasoning okay so that right there when I opened it like threw me off because I was like so I'm gonna be eating chips that are one shaped like drumsticks, okay? And then tastes like ketchup. Okay, so I was like, mm, I don't know about it. I mean, look on the bag, like you can even see like right there, that's a drumstick. <laughs> but these were my favorite snack and I love them. As you can see, there is none left. Our next snack is <laughs> called Big Food in spicy picante giant size cheese snacks and so our little pamphlet here says this giant size puff cheese snack has an unexpected spicy twist Power powerfully picante and yes they are very very spicy when i think of these i think of those chips that you can get from like the gas station that are like french fries and they come in all kinds of different flavors this reminds me of those hot ones they have a good taste to them but if you eat a couple it gets really hot these were garrett's favorites so i'm saving them for him this next snack is called strawberry ballers strawberry ballers and these are um a corn-based snack in a fun ball shape with a sweet taste of strawberry explosion. Okay, so these taste, I mean, these smell, oh my gosh, these smell really, really good, but they don't taste anything like they smell, so it was really disappointing. And this is like what it looks like. It's just like a, it's just like a cheese ball. It looks like, it doesn't taste like a cheese ball. I don't know if they're stale or, or what, but 
they're like smell so good but taste disgusting mm -mm. and no I take that back they're not disgusting they're just the smell through throws you off like you think you're gonna bite into this and you think it's gonna taste like those uh, Captain Crunch sweet treats that you get from Taco Bell but they don't but I I sit and eat them if I really wanted a snack I'd sit and eat them all right so our next snack okay so I said the chicken chips were my favorite, but I think that this one was probably my favorite. It's called a Devon Chocolate Digestive. It's a crunchy wheat meal biscuit dipped in a delicious chocolate coating. A classic throwout, a classic throughout Trinidad and to, to, Tobago. However you say that. Um, but anyway, with this, me and Garrett were eating this. We split it and we're eating it. And we kept looking at each other like, we know this snack. So I can't remember what it's called, but it's those cookies that you get and they're like, I guess shortbread and they're like, got like stripes of chocolate on them. I forget what brand they're called. And that is what this tastes like, like identical to it. Um, really, really good. The next snack is called Ovaltine Cookies. Um, a delicious Jamaican barley biscuit, a traditional sack where healthy meets tasty. And this is what they look like. And it's got like the, the Ovaltine um, words across it. Garrett really liked these, but I just thought that they were really uh, bland. Like they didn't really have a taste to them. Like, okay, so they are good. I think when we tried these, we tried them after that, those Bigfoot, and that just didn't mix well with my taste buds. Like, you know, when you eat something and then you switch over to something else and then like those, the tastes don't mix and so you don't get the full like flavor or something else. That's what this was like. It was pretty good, but then it was not good. Our next snack, since it's open, is called a Nuggle. A Nuggle is a rich combination of crunchy peanuts, chewy fudge, and creamy caramel dipped in milk chocolate. So when I said that, I thought about a Twix bar, but I forgot that Twix doesn't have like actual like bits of peanut in it. Like you can look at this and tell that it's got like big chunks of peanuts in it. But I thought it was really good. So like if you're ever like on the go, just need okay so I'm reading <laughs> excuse me I'm reading the rapper now and Garrett was like I don't know if I'm gonna like that because it's got a whole bunch of peanuts in it and now that I'm reading it it's like lots of peanuts <laughs> I love this I really like peanuts so any any candy anything that's got peanuts in it I'm on board our next snack is called a Cocoa Crisp. And a Cocoa Crisp is tender coconut flavor combined with light crisp rice drenched in milk chocolate. The perfect dessert. Cocoa Crisp. <laughs> it was okay. And so you can see like how there's like coconut in like the middle of it. You can tell that there's coconut. And again, Garrett does not like coconut. <laughs> and I think it's just the feel of the coconut. He likes the flavor of coconut, but like when you have like real coconut, he's like, no. I'm not a picky eater, really. I'll, I'll eat pretty much anything except for um, chitlins. But this snack was pretty good. I couldn't think of it yesterday, but now I can think of it. This snack reminds me of an almond joy. So our next snack is called Ketch. And it says it is a soft, decadent caramel, which meets light, crisp rice to come together in a sweet milk chocolate. This is what it looks like. This was pretty good. Garrett and I like this one. Well, one thing that he did say about this one, which I agree, when you read it, you think like, 
that caramel is gonna like go like this when you bite into it. <laughs> so last night when he went to eat some of it, he like bit it really hard and then like tried to like, you know, like get it to do that thing like cheese does. But it did not. Like you can see the caramel like right there, like on the end. It's not, it's not doing it. Um, let's see. Tiki Gold. Tiki Gold was great. We ate it all. There's nothing left of it. <laughs> Tiki Gold. <laughs> coconut Craze. It says coconut flavors from the Caribbean island roots. I'm reading that so messed up. Coconut flavors from the Caribbean island roots finds its way between layers of water. Water? Between layers of water. Between layers of wafer and chocolate in this sweet treat. This, I can't really remember it, but there's nothing left of it, so we must have really liked it. Most of the stuff in this snack are really good. In this snack crate was really good. Just a few of them where we were like, oh, I don't know about it. Um, ginger biscuits. This was my least favorite snack. It says, this isn't your average cookie. Take a bite of the, out of this delectable, crunchy, and ever so spicy biscuit. Okay, so I don't like, if you've ever eaten like ginger snaps, I don't, I don't like ginger snaps. I don't even think I can eat another one of these. Like, okay, so when you look at this, tell me, let me know down in the comments if you agree with what I'm about to say. When I pulled this out, I immediately started cracking up. I thought about the Aristocats, the mouse that was like the cat's friend. Remember when they were eating the creme de la creme, creme de la creme de la, um, and he brought like his little cracker out and was like dipping it in it and eating it. This is what reminded me of that for some reason, cause this is what, this is what I would imagine his little cracker looking like. Ugh. It smells straight up like a ginger snap. One of my favorites, another one of my favorites is the St. Mary's banana chips. It says a tropical twist on a crispy snack favorite. Dried banana makes for a perfectly sweet chip. Okay, so it doesn't taste anything like, it's not sweet at all. It tastes like a potato chip that got mixed in with like bananas. Like it's, this is what it looks like. It looks like a chip almost. I mean, you can tell that it's a like sliced banana, but other than that, it was, it tastes like a potato chip. And then you like run into like a little bit of flavor of banana, but this literally tastes identical to a potato chip almost. I would almost like buy these to snack on instead of snacking on actual potato chips because these are like a healthy alternative. Um, not that I'm trying to change my, you know, diet or anything, but so I'm about to come to another one that Garrett and I, neither, so Garrett didn't even try it because it was too coconutty. Like it had that, that feel of coconut. A pineapple and coconut snack. So it's in a little package like this. It's a sweet bite-sized fruity treat made from pineapple and coconut, perfectly pina colada straight from Puerto Rico. Okay, so when you read that, you're like, ooh, this is gonna be good. Well, you take it out. This is what it looks like. It feels like when you change a baby, like a six month old baby, somewhere around there, if you like change their diaper and then you get like smelling all good and then they poop like right after you just changed them, that is what this smells like. Like it has like that fresh smell, but also mixed with poo. <laughs> it doesn't even seem appetizing. Yeah, I'm not even gonna eat that again either. So yeah, that was all the snacks. Oh, we also got a drink. Uh, Garrett threw it away and he didn't seem to like it, but I kinda liked it, it was weird. It's called a Ting grape Grapefruit. I'll see if I can get it up here for you guys to see. And it says it's a light sparkling citrus drink with a splash of grapefruit, a can packed with paradise. It tastes like, like when you go to a restaurant or something and you get a Sprite and it doesn't have enough carbonation in it. And, and so then the flavor is like not there, 
but you can still tell that it's bright. That's what that drink was like. It was like drinking an uncarbonated Sprite. But other than that, I really liked the Caribbean snack crate. It was pretty good. So that's all I have for you guys. If you don't mind, give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and hit the bell so you don't miss my videos. And thank you for watching, guys. See you next time. Thank you.